here's a very quick one for some of you who are having challenges with logging into your fsn account and of course as you already know fsn listing has been rescheduled to take place ahead of time right it was initially slated for december 2025 but now they are ready i want to list it in october that's two months ahead right so that's by the way some persons are having challenges logging into their accounts due to the upgrades that just took place on the site right so they have actually provided solutions they have stated some of the reasons and things you need to do to be able to log in seamlessly right so this is the official facebook page right um it's also shared on the other channels as well so here 22 minutes ago it said instructions for registration or login failures dear users we recently upgraded our platform and optimized our security policies. If you encounter any issues during registration or login, it might be due to excessive users in your current network IP range, causing the system to identify you as a high risk source. Whoa. I think this, this is gonna be a problem for some persons because you see, you do not have control over this, over this reason stated here, because you can't go from house to house telling people, hey, you stop using FSEN because I'm using it. Well, though, so the solution is, please, try any of the following methods to re-register or login. Re-register does not mean you have an account, so you need to register as a new user. It's for people who are having challenges registering and then re-login for people who are having challenges logging in. Now, switch to a different network, such as a 4G, 5G hotspot, home Wi-Fi, VPN node, etc. Right? So to switch your network easily on Android, um, you can drag from the top and then you go for settings. So when it opens here, you click on mobile networks. So because I'm using a dual SIM phone, I will tap on the network I'm currently using. So I'm using MTN for data. So from here, you click on preferred network type, right? So this is where you can switch. So the first one, LTE, that's 4G. The second one, 3G, and then the third one, 2G. So if you are already on um, 3G and you're having login challenges, you should try switching it to 4G. So if you're already on 4G, maybe you should consider stepping it down to 3G. Now, another challenge is, some places 3G do not work, 4G do not work, so you should also consider changing location or you should try, um, they have a list of options there, right? So if um, changing um, network type will not allow you connect internet as a case may be for your location, you should consider one of the other. And of course, hotspot, right? Maybe a friend of yours is nearby who's using a different network that is connecting very well, you can ask them to hotspot you, right? And then maybe the network will allow you or you try Wi-Fi or VPN node. So some VPNs are actually free, like CTVPN, that's crypto tab VPN is free, right? So you can try one of them free VPNs and then you connect the browser where you're logging into FSEN to the VPN and, and hopefully you will be able to log in successfully. So another thing to do here is to disconnect from the current network, restart and try logging in again, right? So you try turning off your phone, switching it back on and then you try again. You check if proxy software is enabled on your device. If so, disable it. So those are some of the measures you will apply and then you might be able to log in again. To ensure users account security and platform stability, we will continue to strengthen our risk control policies. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and thank you for your understanding and support. If the issue persists, please submit a ticket through our official customer service team and we will assist as soon as possible, right? So those are the measures you will um, try to apply in order to be able to log in successfully if you're having any challenges um, logging in and i hope this helps right so that'll be all for now guys thanks so much don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and enable the little notification icon to be the first to see my next video Bye bye